Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire. In the last episode, we made our way here to Petalburg, defeated our dad at his gym, got the balance badge, I believe it's called, and... right? Yeah. And then we went into Wally's uncle's house, or Wally's dad's house, one or the other, and we got the HM3, which is Surf. Um, right quickly, I'm gonna go and do a little, uh, picture-in-picture -picture thing, probably down in the left corner here. There's gonna be a little thing. Just showing me what I did la like what I did off screen. Um, I took the fossil to the right person. There's a rare candy right here, by the way. Um, I took the fossil to the right person in Rustboro, so now that fossil is going to turn into Lilip. Not that big of a deal. It's not for my team. I just figured I'd make it anyway. And then I also went back up to Falabor Town or Falarbor Town and uploaded. Well, not uploaded. This is not YouTube. And I sent it in, and, and I got dig from the right person, and gave the meteorite to the right person. You're seeing it all happen in the bottom. If you can't read it, the house in Falibor Town was the meteorite, and if you talk to the person who isn't in the cave, you get dig. Anyway. So, I think I already faced you, yeah, okay. Uh, probably wondering where I'm going. Well, I'm not good with, I'm not good with this bike nonsense. Reminds me of my friend who should get into Let's Playing, still. Um, okay, so if you come up here back to where we caught Wingle, you come this way, and then you come... Um, I still haven't nicknamed, um, Cacnea, by the way. I'm thinking something along the lines of, uh, Cactus or Cacti. I think Cacti would be kind of funny because, like, that is the proper plural of Cactus. And I always find it funny. Um, some of you have asked what I'm going to do with this house. I'm going to save that for later, so don't worry about that. Um, this episode we're gonna do a little bit of we're gonna do a little bit of a side quest. It's not required by any means, but it it would definitely help considering what the next gym is and all that. So I like how there's exactly like a hundred steps in there. That's cool. Anyway, when you come here, you see Watson standing here, and he goes, "Oh, Kevin J, you look like you have a lot of zip. That's a good thing. Wah ha ha ha. Fine, I've decided. I need a favor, Kevin J." Marvel City has an underground sector called New Marvel. Kevin J, I would like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator has been running a bit haywire. It isn't. It's getting unsafe. Here, he, this is the key to get into New Marvel. You received the basement key. That's what we're going to do, be doing this episode. Um, just a little bit of side questing. It doesn't even take that long, really, since we have repels. Yeah, we have enough repels. I'm like, do I have enough repels? I'm sure I do. What you're going to do is you're going to want to come right here, I believe. I always forget where exactly you need to surf. I'm pretty sure it's right here. That deep blue. Would you like to surf? Yes, I would like to see see if yes, I would like to see if surf. Come right over here, and you see this little cave right here. And you click on this door. The door is closed. Use the basement key. I don't see a keyhole, but apparently it opened. Anyway, so you're going to walk in. And let me just get my notes out here. We are in New Marvel. There's a few new Pokemon we can catch here. There is Magnemite and Magneton. They are the um you got Magnemite and Magneton. They are steel type to electric steel electric types. Okay, in fourth generation Magneton gets an evolution and makes them a little more useful. There's also Voltorb and Electrode, which I did use for one of my run throughs, but because he has the highest speed fully evolved, but I ended up deciding against it. So anyway. The idea of this place is you have to hit switches. Blue switches open blue ones, and green ones close blue ones, but open green ones. I need to hit the green switch, don't I? I think I do. Um, I highest just using repels in here all the time, because no matter where you are, there is enemies. Yep, okay. Do not hit that switch, because then you can close the door on yourself. Yay, an escape rope. That will come in handy in a second. Ah... The reason why you can still get into a fight, get into a fight, even with repels up, is because they're the same level as you. So they can essentially, like, you can oh, really, static myself. He better get static from that. Be no, he didn't. That would have been hilarious if he did, though. I don't even know why I'm facing this guy. I don't even know why I am. Oh. No. Don't know why he's using tackle. He has Sonic Boom, which I'm sure is going to do more than what he's doing. Um, just to ensure we don't get into more fights, I'm going to put Flyless out first because I just don't want to get into any fights. Um, let's see what we got over here. 
Um, some of these, some of these uh, uh, Pokeballs or items you see are actually electrodes. Oopsie, you're not supposed to hit that switch. Yeah, as you see, because it made a sound effect, this is actually an electrode. Or a Voltorb, sorry. Which, as other Let's Players have said, I'm not going to mention them by name, but why the heck do people mistake Pokeballs for uh, Voltorbs for Pokeballs? I mean, they're clearly bigger. If a Pokeball can hold, like, if, if they, if, like, if you've seen the show, you know that they fit inside the Pokeball by, like, shrinking down in size. So I don't know how you can get mixed up like that, but apparently some people do. <clears throat> Pardon, I got a little bit of a a little bit of a sore throat today. It's not too bad, like I can talk fine, doesn't hurt or anything, it's just I don't know. A lot of items down here, I'm sure you can come back here and just go item hunting. Uh, more repel using. Anyway. And then you come here. I suggest grabbing that, it's a Thunderstone. Certain Pokemon evolve with Thunderstones, Pikachu being one of them. And you just step on the switch. And the generator appears to have stopped. And there we go, we're actually done. That was it. That really was it, that's all you do. Then I will use this escape rope. I'm gonna use this rare candy actually. Although rare candies will automatically boost a Pokemon one level, they're not that great, because I believe they don't raise the stats as good as they should, or something something weird like that. I heard if you, if you have full EVs, it's still okay, but I'm not totally sure. So I'm just going to use an escape rope to get out of here. And here we are, we are out of here. Escape ropes just to take you immediately to the front door of wherever you were, which I'm pretty sure you've seen before, but just in case, I forgot. And there we go, we're over here now. Da -da 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 and what's our time looking? What's our time looking like? Our time is looking... Oh, amazing. So we still have time to do stuff. Do stuff. Um, talk to Watson here and he goes, Wahahaha, I knew it, Kevin J. I knew I'd made the right choice asking you. This is my thanks, a TM containing Thunderbolt. So now we have TM24. Which is odd. Uh, the past three TMs we got were all TM20s. Got 27 from the Mr. Meteorite Man. And yeah. So anyway, we're going to want to head off this way. There's new trainers here, but... Nothing else is new. Just gonna avoid all the trainers here. They're low leveled because just in case you came here by accident or something. And you can surf across here and now we are in a new part of the game. Um as you can see the interviewers are here now as well. Um I'm gonna quickly go through the new Pokemon we catch here. You may notice that this guy whoopsie. Wrong person. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. It Talk to this guy right here, he goes, Hmm, a good rod is really good, wouldn't you agree? Yes. And then he goes, Oh, we got the good rod, now we can fish for slightly better Pokemon. Um, for example, if you were to fish right here, you can catch Pokemon such as Carvana. Carvana's a pretty good Pokemon. Um, nothing special though, fully evolved to become Sharpedo, which is an okay, fast, physical water type. And you, so it's totally up to you if you'd want it or not. But we already have a water type, so I'm not taking it. Um, that's actually it for that. Um, if you go back to the other route opposite of this, you know where the daycare was, if you fish, you can catch core fish. Core fish is a, oddly enough, another water dark type fully evolved. And it's another physical water type. It's kind of odd that they're both like that. If you come over here, we got, oh, who's this? Hi, you're that trainer I met in Duford. Oh, okay, you're Kevin J. I'll remember it. Kevin J, in this vast world, there are many kinds of Pokemon. They come in many types. Do you raise different types, or do you raise only one, only Pokemon of a certain type? What do you think as a trainer? Sorry, it's not my place to ask, is it? Well, anyway, I hope to see you again. Anyway, so that was just completely useless. But in here, you can catch Lanoon, the evolved form of Zigzagoon. Um, it's okay, fastest belly drum user. And you can also catch Manectric here, the evolved form of Electric, as you know, because he's on my team. And that's actually it. You can also catch Pelipper from surfing, but I'm not going to go through that. Oh, I don't have cut. And yes, you can catch Pelipper from surfing. Yay, there's a picture. Anyway, just in case you want to know. You already know all about him, because I showed him, because I have one. Oh, look, and a Wingle. Another Wingle, level 26. My Wingle's a higher level than that. Oh, this is Runaway, because I have Flyless out, and that's a bad thing. 
Um, I'm mainly going to be training Travis here because if you know anything about this game, the next gym leader is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a tough, tough cookie, as I've said before. Um, we'll try avoiding these guys. There we go. Ah, I need to put a repel off. Ah, oh, more elect electrikes. I don't know. Basically, it's electric. I would train you, but I'm not feeling up for facing you right now. There's some required fights coming up. Right here, there's citrus berries. <clears throat> oh, man. I got like a weird, like, phlegm bubble in my throat. I hope that doesn't gross you out or anything. You can't see it, but sure as I can feel it. We still got loads of time this episode. Holy crap. Well, not loads, but like three minutes is a fair bit compared to what I was expecting. You know what, I'm gonna face this guy. Just so you guys can have some fighting this episode. And I'm actually gonna go the other way just to show you guys something. This is a bird keeper. Part of the reason why I'm training him, uh, facing him is because we already have some bird types, so... Well, bird types? What is this? Missing? No? No. Flying types, and flying types are easy to defeat with Manectric, with Electric types, so... It's pretty easy for us. I just figured I'd take it on. His name is Chester. I don't know why I find that important to tell you, but his name is Chester. Yay, level 27. He's getting pretty good on HP. Yay. They did take flight. It probably would have made more sense if we watched his first one. Well, his first. If we rest first. Ah, stop doing this. Electric. I already have one of you. I don't want another one. No way. I'm gonna face more of the trainers for training. They're easy to train on. Ooh, a hyper potion if you know that heals a whopping 200 HP. If you come over here, there is the berry master's house in here, and a bunch of random berries, but none of them heal items. And you can talk to her. She'll. She's a trainer as well, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, is there anything down here? I usually don't do this unless there's something hidden. Huh, well, I guess there's nothing in there. And over here, there's an item just out in the open. An Ultra Ball, yay! The best Ultra... Technically the best type of way to catch Pokemon. Besides, a certain other type of ball that will never miss, but we'll only have one, so... So I'm just gonna face this guy. He's another bird catcher, so I'm just gonna quickly beat him, and we'll be done for this episode. So this is Bird Keeper Perry. All he has is a Wingle, level 27, I don't know why he didn't let it evolve, but maybe it was because he was stuck on the fourth gym leader just like me. And then we hit him with Spark, and there we go, we've defeated Wengel. Doesn't even give you that much experience because it's not even evolved yet, so... Erg, I crashed. Crashed into what? Anyway, so fellow gamers, we are on Route 119. Next time on Pokemon Sapphire, we will be heading off towards the next gym leader. See you guys next time.